Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to the Dino Factory. This is your egg farm, kibble production, armor and weapons, there's like forges and everything in there as well. Uh, it's a dino pen, uh, basically everything you're going to need in one place. Here's the cards for it, it's on a big ice lake on Ragnarok. Uh, there's plenty of room, I could have built a place even bigger if I wanted to. What I'll do is I'll go around Rag and find all the decent largest flat spots and probably make a video about it or something. I'll go and have a run around inside the place, just show you how I've got everything set up. It's just like really convenient all in one spot. There we go, it's big enough to get your Brontos inside and uh, the Rock Elementals. Even T-Rex and Utes look small in here. There's a bunch of quets on the right hand side. Basically, I've just gathered all the animals you need. Um, you can get eggs out of pretty much. And yeah, put them all in one spot. It is basically a PVE structure. Um, it gives you so much stuff. You know, production goes right up. Oh yeah, if you don't know, 99% of people will know this, but if you get the Oviraptor, um, stick him full of rocks and put him on wonder once they're on wonder they give off the um egg buff and basically it just boosts um the egg laying of all the other creatures and you'll get that little flashing egg icon over all your dinosaurs um i've got six oviraptors in in the whole place so it sort of covers everything but yeah like i was saying um great because it gives you like tons of eggs you've got um, fertilizer and all different things to trade and you, you just end up stocked up on everything so if you come across any like decent teams that are out there uh, your high level ones and stuff you can just sort of go and grab them straight away you don't have to worry about asking for eggs or you know, running around after other people you spend a few hours just you know, doing something in the base and just collecting eggs as you're going around and you'll just you'll end up with loads it's great basically what I do I usually grab one meal and four or five females and that gives you you know decent turnover and what you can do later on usually what i do when i'm starting off i go out and just grab a load of really low level dinosaurs and just stick them in here and get the eggs turning over before i start going out and taming decent ones but as you sort of progress you can start replacing the um, lower level dinosaurs with your higher level teams and the the new ones that are being born then you've got your egg production and you, you can also mate them and you've got fertilized eggs to trade as well those three wolves are just hanging about outside they um, all in the same pack but the colors are really good so i tamed them right up on this platform i've got the farm set up uh, so just fertilizer and extra seeds nearby I've got the dung beetles there, the scarabs, um, producing fertiliser. You just stick them on wonder, then you've got plenty of um, manure and stuff, you know, dung, whatever you want to call it, uh, to feed them on. And what I did here, I put the metal water pipes actually into the ground and the taps just sticking straight up into the um, flower beds, but you can see there it's got like 300% greenhouse effect on this build. Then you've got jerky production, plenty of fridges to keep all the eggs and stuff in. And the weight of eggs is usually like a, a bit of an issue sometimes if you want to make a ton of kibble at once or just put them like right next to the cooker. And you've got everything here to get your kibble production up and running. This poison weaving, about two years ago I had a black and yellow one, it's just awesome. And I got that colour again, it's like just one of the best looking ones I've had. Then I've got a few lifts dotted about the place so you can get around a bit easier. So you made the platforms big enough to get like the, the biggest flyers on there. These areas you can use for like landing flyers on or you know whatever you want. I mean you can design the actual platform sections however you however you like. There's tons of room in there. Up here I've got a bit of a living quarters and uh, bump beds and stuff for respawning. Uh, hatch frames in the roof so you can fly straight in or you can land up there. I've not got many mammals in here but when I, I've built like 
two or three of these bases this big on when I've played on PV servers in the past. And I just use it as my single base and like everything's in there. This is a flight deck. Um, it's open on the left hand side, there's a big part where you can just fly in. So you've got like a hangar. Got all my arches up here. It's like it's big enough to fit a Quetzal inside. And I've dotted f fireplaces and just places to chill out all over the place. Uh, you got like people coming to trade with you and stuff like that, and everyone's always got really decent um, fur. So just having a few fires dotted around somewhere to warm up's good. Another hatch frame so you can get into the main base there. Two small towers on the build, just connected to the sides. This one I put a lift in so you can like get straight up to the roof. It brings you down to where the production is. I think all in all this one's about 1200, 1200 foundations, um, the biggest one I ever made was 2250, that was on like a bit of a plateau um, on Ragnarok just near the little ruined fort, but um, yeah what I'll do I'll, I'll have a fly around find all the, the big flat spots and make a video like oh, top 10 base locations or something like that so yeah got all the, the production round there um smithies on one side with a load of vaults to keep everything in i've got the forges and everything set up chem benches and a grinder at the back as well scorpions you need them eggs to tame decent rexes there's plenty of room in here to sort of do your breeding and stuff as well and like over there I had the air conditioners. Just go and have a quick look in the stables. There's like a bit of a courtyard I built. Um, if you're trading you just get people to land in there and bring stuff out to them. Just built a small stables for the horses. And then in the back here, uh, there's a Japanese uh, sort of art player called Takibana. And I've been following him on Twitter. And he built this bathroom on one of his builds. He's got this sea restaurant. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I sort of borrowed his idea for this. I'll stick a link in the description to his Twitter feed. He's got some pretty decent builds. He plays uh, No Man's Sky and some other stuff as well. Yeah, so I think that's about it for the tour, to be honest. Covered everything. Got to see like the size of the place. Um, this is the courtyard, I said, where you can just get people to land. I used to, like I said, I used to build these bases now and again and sort of what got me into building because people on the server have come over and just be like totally blown away by the size of the place and everything I've got set up and uh, yeah so that's sort of what sort of sparked me interest in it there we have it the dino factory built no mods no clip official settings all that sort of stuff and um, if you're out sort of farming for things if you're on a boosted server it won't be that hard getting the materials together I'll put a materials list in the description I've counted everything up uh, if you're on official, not so easy, I suppose. But if you take like Dodicarus, Ankies, um, Beaver, maybe Parasitherium for to carry some weight when you're building the walls, uh, take a rock elemental with you as well. You can start everything on him, and he's good for smashing rocks while you're riding around. Then you can sort of get all the materials together and build the walls and, and things while you're out farming um, and store them inside the Parasitherium, and then everything's there in one spot when you get back. If this is the first video of mine you've seen, um, go and check out the rest of the channel. There's tons of no modded builds on there. I go for console and a bunch of PC modded stuff as well. Right, you can get on with the build. It's all done on screenshots with all the sizes like printed over it, so it should be easy enough to follow. Right, have fun building, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, just leave us a comment. Uh, I've got a Discord channel up as well to check out now and again, so you can go on there. Right, I'll catch you later.
Right, and that should be all base done, main structure all finished, all you've got to do now is fill it with dinos and get the place kitted out. One thing I would suggest is putting every single dinosaur on ignore group whistles, just go around and do it once you've got them all in place. I don't know if you've ever done it in a big base before, you hit whistle all and all hell breaks loose. I've done it a few times <laughs> but yeah that's what you're gonna end up dealing with so make sure you put them on that whistle and uh, ignore whistles right like I said earlier uh, I've got this card channel up so if anyone does get around to building something like this it'd be great to see some pictures uh, what else have we got oh yeah also uh, I've just hit 988 subscribers on my YouTube channel so um, if anyone you know jumps on there and checks out the rest of the builds and stuff and you like what you see uh, yeah drop us a sub uh, like subscribe what else notification button all that sort of stuff uh, really appreciate it all right thanks for watching guys catch you later